What's up guys, JR Raymond back again with BowlerX.com here. And today we're gonna talk about trying to find a good three ball arsenal. If you're a league bowler, you're somebody who, you don't bowl tournaments or anything. You just wanna have a nice variety of bowling balls to go bowl league with. We're gonna chat about that here in one second. Stay tuned. All right, so one of the hardest things that people do is that they don't understand how to choose bowling balls um, because we're out here doing reviews saying, oh, this ball's great, that ball's great, uh, this ball's not so great. Oh, wait, no, I'm the only one that says this ball's not so great. I don't think any other reviews will ever actually tell you if a ball's not very good or not. I'm the only one that might actually do that. But um, so we're out here telling you, you know, which balls you should be buying, and usually they're high-end bowling balls. You know, well, you don't necessarily need a bunch of high-end bowling balls, and especially if you're trying to build a little bit of like a three ball arsenal for league, you know, plus a spare ball. So now you have four bowling balls, just two totes. Um, it, it can be a little bit of a challenge if you don't know what you're looking for. And what I recommend is always looking for uh, different surfaces. Okay. So it doesn't have to all be the same brand. We just want to make sure we're looking at, you know, a little different, there's hot, there's your high end performance, high performance, your mid performance and your low performance. And I know other companies have like their upper mid and and lower mid, they have five different areas for them. We're just gonna go with the three, okay? So and we need one from each uh, range there, uh, in my opinion, or uh, it, sometimes you could even go with a high performance and then two mid-range performance bowling balls um, because you don't really necessarily ever need that super low performance. You have a urethane ball for your spares or a plastic ball for your spares. We'll call that your low performance bowling ball, but we need three other bowling balls. So we're going to look at high end. So what you're looking for is you need to have one good solid piece. Does it matter if it's asymmetrical, symmetrical? In my opinion, if you're just a league bowler, no, it really doesn't matter. Most of them are going to be asymmetrical anyway. So you need to find something that's going to be nice and strong and good. Something like a UFO or even the new Omega Crux uh, that we have in stock now. Um, or even like a Gravity Evolve, something like this. These are these big, strong bowling balls that are technically considered the high performance end bowling ball. And then when we're looking for, and, and you can lay that out however you want. You know, basically you do a basic standard layout that you really enjoy, uh, that you've put on other bowling balls that you like, that'd be good for you. And then we need to find two bowling balls because you don't need two super strong balls. It's never going to do you any good because super strong balls are going to be super strong. They're going to do basically the same thing. So you lay that out with your best layout that you enjoy. And then you're going to find two bowling balls in the mid range that you're going to try and you're going to do two different layouts on and you're going to do two different surfaces on. So it doesn't have to be the same ball. So you could do something like, like a wild streak and a hustle. Okay, and you could do two different. This is more of a solid. This is going to be, I mean, technically it's a solid, but you can get this one to look, it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, or you can go one of the, to one of the shiny hustles, one of something like that. Or you can go to like an IQ Tour, uh, IQ uh, Tour Emerald, you know, something like that, or an uppercut from Brunswick. You know, pick something like that in that mid range zone and then find two of them. And then you're going to do one with strong numbers and then you're going to do one with weaker numbers. And what I mean by that is uh, the weaker numbers being, uh, if you're looking at dual angles, go watch the dual angle videos that I've done or the storm vector layout. If you're looking at that type of stuff, you need to make sure you're using weaker numbers to make it a weaker ball reaction. And then for, and then another one that does a stronger reaction, so stronger numbers. So basically matching whatever your favorite layout is. So you should have one strong ball with your favorite layout, one medium ball with your favorite layout, and then another medium type ball that would be more shiny type bowling ball. Um, that would have maybe even a weaker layout. So that gives you a three-step option there for when you're in league and all of a sudden that big strong bowling ball is just too much or it's not carrying. Now you need something that's going to store a little bit more energy uh, or even allow you to stay in that same area. Now you can go down to that mid-range ball and then in game three, if that ball isn't quite letting you stay there, now you have that same mid-range type ball, but that's just got a little bit of a shine on it and it's got a weaker layout to allow you to stay in that spot even longer. So that's what I would do if I was bowling league all the time. I would just have, you know, I'd take two totes in, I'd have my plastic ball and then those three balls that I just picked out and I'd be good to go. So if you're looking for somewhere to get some balls, make sure to head over to bowlerx.com and they'll take care of you over there. If you're in the Rochester Hills area in Michigan, come on over to MRB Classic Pro Shop and we'll take care of you as far as that goes too. Um, but make sure you get yourself squared away get into a good pro shop, get into a good place 
uh, where you can get all these things taken care of and, and that the pro shop guy or gal isn't afraid to have these conversations with you. So that's all I got, guys. Until next time, uh, make sure to comment below, subscribe. What's your favorite three ball arsenal that you have? Um, comment below. We'll talk about it. Uh, chat amongst yourselves. And until next time, I'm out of here. See you guys later.